Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I want to share with you my sensitive skin saviors. These are the products that I'm reaching for in a sensitive skin emergency. I'm talking about products that really relieve irritation, stinging, burning, and just general tight, itchy feeling on sensitive skin. So if you guys are so ready to find out the products I reach for all the time, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So when my skin is irritated to the point of feeling like stinging or burning sensations, that's when I'm reaching for the Neod Modulating Glucoside Serum. Now this works so fast, bam, oh my gosh. This it really is like one of those miracle products that brings relief to your skin very, very quickly because it has been formulated specifically to relieve the feeling of burning and irritation on the skin. So the hero ingredient is SimCitive, also known as 4T Butyl Cyclohexanol. That's quite a mouthful. Now this is a cell communicating ingredient and this really goes in and interrupts the signal of irritation on your skin so it never actually reaches the neurotransmitters. Like talk about just like blocking, shut it down with the irritation. That's why this product works so good. Whenever I put this on my skin, it works on contact. It has such a soothing feeling and it's not just the, the reduction in burning and stinging, although that is like so appreciated, right? Um, but there's some other like elements that really kind of like take this up a notch in my opinion for sensitive skin that's feeling really irritated. The texture, this is kind of an emulsion texture. It looks quite creamy coming out of the bottle, but there is actually like a hydrating element to this serum. You probably noticed there was a few amino acids um, on the ingredients list that are really bringing a hydration and replenishing factor to the skin, but it's also been balanced out with some light nourishing moisture. It's actually really not that heavy, but it does have a little bit of that creaminess that actually feels incredibly comforting when your skin is like super irritated and burning. This texture alone just really balances out the skin, the formula to really target that irritated feeling and really shut it down. Um, but there's also skin strengthening antioxidants in here and some calming elements too. It all comes together in the perfect mix. So whenever my skin is feeling really itchy, I am reaching for the Nature Kind Super Barrier Urea 5% Cream. Now the hero here is really the urea. This is an ingredient you need to know if you do get itchy, sensitive skin, or you're prone to eczema or psoriasis. And there's a couple of benefits to this ingredient. First and foremost, it's actually really hydrating and moisturizing ingredient. It's very barrier friendly because it is an actually a natural moisturizing factor. So it's great just to strengthen the skin. It's also really great for relieving deep itch. It's a very soothing, ingredient and I've used urea to relieve the itch from eczema and now you know that itch can be incredibly intense to the point of being painful and all you want to do is scratch at it right but you know that's actually like one of the worst things that you can do you're just going to be making things so, so much harder for yourself. So you want to keep your fingernails off of that eczema patch and urea really goes in there and gives that relief to that intense itchy feel. I've even used it on my hands, which can get so dry, so irritated and so itchy and so sensitive, especially during winter. And like the only thing that relieves that deep itchy feel, because there's tons of creams out there that will moisturize, that will protect and will relieve all of that. But the itch is still there. Urea gets rid of that intense sensation. It is so deeply soothing for itchy skin. But it is also another hero ingredient for eczema or psoriasis because you know how you get those scaly patches of all that built up like a uh, patchy dry skin? Urea can actually gently break that up. It can help encourage the skin cells to not kind of clump up together and create that like really intense dry patch on your skin. It really helps to smooth things out. So I love the texture of this because it's like a gel cream texture. It's pretty light. It's hydrating and 
uh, that really, you know, helps it be able to be applied multiple times throughout the day without like overwhelming your skin. You know, on top of everything else, I am prone to congestion. So I do have to be a little bit careful about how thick things are getting on my skin. And so I just love this texture. I think it'll work for a variety of different skin types. It's not going to overwhelm you at all, but that urea, you need to know that if you ever get itchy, sensitive skin. Oftentimes when my sensitive skin is feeling more vulnerable than usual, you know, it's just been kind of pushed towards the edge. That's when I really know that I need soothing, comforting moisture in my skincare routine. And that's when I reach for Sika creams. Oh yeah, if you have sensitive skin and you're not on the Sika cream train, you need to come aboard. <laughs> and let me tell you why. Because these are concentrated, targeted, anti-irritation creams. And there's so many different varieties out there. I truly be believe there is a Sika cream out there for every skin type. And in fact, I actually um, have a video that really breaks down a couple of different ones. I'm gonna link it for you guys right up here. You can go check that one out if you need some more recommendations but I'm gonna go through the top three that I've been reaching for the most lately so the first one I want to talk about is the Purito Centella unscented recovery cream now this is, is a couple of varieties of Centella plus 2% of niacinamide to not only soothe irritation but help strengthen your skin's moisture barrier and really what I love about this one is the texture because it's a really great kind of like combination between like light and medium you know it is definitely creamy and moisturizing but it has a little bit of a lightness to it that my skin really appreciates it kind of has like a little bit of a hydrating kick and then a nice uh, nourishing comforting moisture to it without overwhelming my skin and in fact I actually just like leave this um, right next to my bed because sometimes I'll do my full skincare routine and then like an hour will pass I'll get into bed and I'm like actually my skin feels a little irritated and dry maybe like on a tretinoin night um, and I'll just need like a little extra soothing just a little extra moisture especially Especially in the winter and then I'll just put a layer of this it's just that right texture this can definitely work as its own moisturizer or you can um, use it on top of another moisturizer or just in areas that feel a little itchy sometimes I'll just put it around like my chin which is a little bit more prone to irritation so um, I think it's just like a really nice flexible uh, cream that's not too heavy it's not too light it's got a really nice amount of centella that can really soothe irritation really help reduce redness on the skin and give it a nice healthy dose of moisture. Now a second cream that I really enjoy is the La Roche Posay Sika Plast Balm. Now this brings intense soothing to the skin. Intense. It works very fast and it brings a lot of relief to the skin quickly. So when my skin is like not just a little bit pushed over the edge but like a lot more irritated, I'm gonna reach for this one. So this uses maticasticide, which you know is an active compound found in Centella. That's paired with barrier supportive panthenol. Plus we have copper and zinc gluconate, which really helps to promote uh, skin repair and healing. So you can see why this is a pretty powerful formulation for sensitive skin. And what I love about this is it really multitasks. I can use this for so many situations. It's not just about like soothing moisture. I mean, this is is so great if you do have just like very irritated skin um, it can be applied to just like the localized area or as I was saying before like on top of your final moisturizer almost like a sleeping pack or maybe even in place of your moisturizer but this also works on bug bites it works if you get like razor burn like sometimes I'll put it on my legs or if you have like you get razor burn like if you're shaving a beard or something this is so good to calm down that like real intense irritation that you can get very very good at that helps to reduce redness I mean it's even helpful for like inflamed pimples and the texture is pretty unique you can see it's kind of like it's thin but it's thick at the same time like it, it really hangs on and clings to your skin and creates that protective occlusive layer without feeling like really heavy um, this actually is so great for lips I get really dry chapped lips in the winter time and I'm often putting this on them to really help soothe that irritation. This is also something I've used um, during eczema flare ups because something that's important for like an eczema flare up is keeping that patch protected because that skin is quite vulnerable and raw, keeping that protected and promoting healing. And I think that's like the like real special thing that this particular cream does. It really helps to promote the healing of skin. So when my skin is 
extremely dry, I'm gonna reach for the Avene Secofate Restorative Protective Cream. Now this is the thickest, most occlusive cream that I'm talking about in today's video. And in fact, it sometimes is a little bit too thick for my combo skin that leans on the dry side. But when I'm dry, I'm dry. And this brings so much moisture to the skin. I mean, this is very, very comforting just in the texture and moisture department. Now, this is a really interesting example of a Sika cream that doesn't have any centella in it. Um, and there's actually kind of like a long history of Sika creams outside of K-Beauty, before K-Beauty, if you will, like kind of took over the world with Sika creams. And Sika creams were actually developed, I believe, by um, French brands to promote healing um, after surgeries um, for, you know, scars and things like that. So these are always been creams that are focused on healing the skin, soothing the skin. And when K-Beauty kind of took you know, the Sika cream and ran with it and kind of put their own Korean spin on things. That's when Sika really started to mean Centella. So no Centella here, but this is interesting, kind of like the La Roche Posay, we're also using zinc and copper. Here they're using zinc and copper sulfates, which are ingredients that promote uh, skin healing. And really in the tradition of French pharmacy, um, Avene is using their own thermal water in this cream. Now thermal water is water that has so many skin beneficial like minerals and vitamins in it and thermal water actually studies have shown that it actually helps to promote a very healthy skin microbiome which is definitely intimately related to your skin's barrier health so this is all about making your skin very very strong and resilient while also promoting healing of any irritation that you might have so as i mentioned this is thick this is a very thick thick, occlusive, moisturizing cream. So that's why I'm really saving this recommendation for those who have very sensitive, very dry skin. Um, I was actually using this at the tail end of winter and it was really helping me when I was feeling very, very dry. But then like it started to warm up a little bit and my skin was like not feeling as dry and it was like, hey, this is actually a little overwhelming for me. So I'm only reserving this for very dry areas on my face or like for winter time. But this is very, very soothing, very, very comfortable comforting and very, very minimal. When my skin barrier needs repair, it's shouting SOS, help me Kelly. That's when I'm reaching for Stradia Liquid Gold. Because sometimes with sensitive skin, like I was mentioning, sometimes it gets pushed a little bit and it feels very vulnerable. Sometimes it gets pushed a little bit too far. And sometimes you go overboard. <laughs> you go overboard and you just feel like your, your skin is so weak. Your moisture barrier is is just not protecting your skin. Your skin just does not feel resilient maybe like it used to. Something's a little bit off. If you know my history with this product, you know this is the product that really healed my skin when my moisture barrier was damaged. And I went through this whole odyssey of trying to, to repair it. And it took me a really long time and it didn't feel like anything was working. And like maybe I would make some progress, but then I'd get kicked back three steps, you know, and I just, I could not figure it out. And then this product came into my life, um, especially through research of finding out that ceramides, you know, cholesterol and fatty acids make up the biggest component of your skin's moisture barrier and are really essential for building your barrier back up and making it strong. That's when I found this product. That's when I started using this. And that's when I actually started to make meaningful progress in repairing my skin barrier. But it also has helped me bounce back from irritation from essential oils. It helps me bounce um, back when my skin, you know, fluctuates with the seasons. It helps me so much with using tretinoin, which is a very aggressive ingredient for sensitive skin. And I really do accredit a lot of the success my skin has had with tretinoin, just adapting to it with the liquid gold. This is what keeps my skin strong and happy and healthy. Now, if you have sensitive skin, you need this multi-purpose sidekick in your life. And that is the ingredient petrolatum. Yeah, this is what's in Vaseline. This is what's in Aquaphor. And I really wanted to shout it out in this video because this is the ingredient that does not quit for me. I am constantly reaching for this in so many sensitive skin situations. I love Aquaphor for my lips. Um, it really helps to not only moisturize them, but keep them protected um, and help them from not drying out. I found it incredibly helpful for eczema because something that I mentioned before, 
is keeping that eczema patch uh, protected as it's healing up. And one of the ways that you can do that is like I was talking about Sika creams help promote healing, but topping that even off with a little bit of a petrolatum based product creates that like super occlusive barrier. Almost, you almost want to think about it like a liquid bandage in a way over that area. It keeps it protected from any outside elements. It helps it to promote healing. Like it's just so good for an eczema patch. Super duper helpful. Now, if you get like very dry or cracked raw skin in the winter, maybe around your nose or maybe around your mouth, this is again, something that's going to protect that vulnerable and raw skin. And of course, you know about slugging. This is a protective layer on your skin that's not going to allow a lot of hydration or moisture to escape your skin, maybe while you're sleeping, if you get a lot of dehydration. But it's also so helpful in the winter time. If you live in a harsh area, which I do, the winters are very bad here, and that wind can make your sensitive skin like so dried out, so raw, so vulnerable, put a little layer of like Vaseline or Aquaphor on top of it before you go outside. The protection goes two ways. It keeps all the good stuff in and it keeps all the bad stuff out. You know how sensitive skin can be kind of finicky. You know, you start off the day and you're cool as a cucumber and your skin is like non-reactive at all. But by the end of the day, you're starting to feel that little like irritation creeping up in your skin. You're like, oh man, what did I do this time? <laughs> When that's the case, I have found one of the quickest solutions to mild irritation that's just starting is just grabbing a wash off mask. This is a really easy addition into your skincare routine whenever you need it. And I rely on them so much for sensitive skin. So there's two that I reach for all the time. The first one is the I'm from Mugwort mask. And you've heard me rave about Mugwort on my channel for many years because of how soothing and calming it is for my skin. You want to think about Mugwort or sometimes you'll see it referred to as Artemisia. Think about that like an alternative to Centella. It has a lot of the same properties, really soothes inflammation, can reduce redness. It's got a great antibacterial effect if you're acne prone. Um, just a really well-rounded ingredient, great for sensitive skin. So this mask uses mugwort in this really beautiful, thick, hydrating gel texture um, that feels really refreshing on the skin as you're wearing it. And when you wash it off, it really doesn't leave much like residue on your skin. It washes away very cleanly, but it will reveal not only calmer, like soothed skin, you will feel a lot of relief with this mask, but it also helps to reduce redness. And and I often use this when I get those big inflamed pimples, you know, under the skin, kind of painful swollen pimples. Um, this actually helps to reduce the inflammation and the redness of those and kind of bring some relief in that area. So when my skin just wants like that, that gel texture wash off mask that doesn't like infuse my skin with like any moisture or anything, I'm going to reach for this one. Now, when my skin is feeling more dry and irritated and I want a mask that's going to bring soothing moisture into my skin, I reach for the Bioderma Sensa Bio Wash Off Mask because you'll see the texture very different. It's a creamy texture. And as you're wearing this on your face, it infuses, like it almost melts into your skin and it leaves this beautiful layer of moisture on your skin when you wash it off. It feels like, you know, when you have sensitive, irritated, dry skin, and use something like this, it's gonna feel like that comforting like blanket. Like it's just so soothing on the skin. It's so nourishing on the skin. It feels amazing. But this is definitely a mask that's more suited for dryness where moisture brings a lot of soothing. Um, this mask really delivers. And if you get a lot of redness on your skin um, and, and dryness, this helps to reduce that, that red appearance on your skin too. It's awesome. So if you have a sensitive skin hero product that I didn't mention in the video, let me know in the comment box below because we're all here to help each other out, right? And I'm always up for discovering new products. If this video helped you out, but you have not hit subscribe to my channel yet, please before you go, consider hitting subscribe. Um, I release a lot of new skincare, especially focused on sensitive skin. So if you want to see more, please hit subscribe and consider turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop throughout the week when I drop the new content. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.